this video, we're going to showcase how to uh, create a TFW file from a georeferenced to TIFF image. Now, in TBC, when you create a, using the photogrammetry module, you create a TIFF file, a com or whether a compressed or normal TIFF file, it embeds the georeferenced information into the TIFF file itself. So to give you an example, this is the finished product of the export and it is georeferenced, but it's embedded in. But there are some programs that will require an extra georeference file being outside of the TIFF file. For example, Trimble Access requires uh, that you, you need an actual, um, an actual extension or that external TFW file to be able to load. So to give you an example, um, that same file that you're seeing here, if I load that into the interface and tap on it, this is the error message you get. And in other programs, you'll get an error message. So how do we then get a real world file um, that is annexed to the TIFF file? Well, here's a process. Um, in TBC, head to the CAD ribbon and head all the way down to the end where it says capture. And you're gonna create a plot box. So again, how did I get there? I tapped on this little icon that's right at the top. Create plot box. You don't have to give it a name, but if you do, it makes life easy. And you're just pretty much tapping on the grip points at the end of the box, and you're tapping for the height from the bottom to the top. Then you have location. So you're tapping on the lower corner. Don't apply any rotation, it's not necessary. And there's your plot box, right? You're gonna hit close. And then you're gonna tell it, I wanna use that plot box that I just made a while ago. You tell it you have a resolution quality that you're chasing for. This is the highest that you can go to. So therefore, the only shortcoming to this is that you're reworking the image. So therefore you might lose some quality. There are other methods that will will pretty much use directly the image, but this is inside of TBC. This is the option that's available to you. So um, very high resolution, tap apply, and then wait for the process to come to its end. All right, so we have GCP001, tap on the three dots at the end. There's that file at that location. Now, because I'm viewing it through this extension, I can't see the full details. So I'm gonna just pretty much copy and paste this same link here so you can see the real world associated files. So there they are, three files, copy. And we're gonna go into the back end of Trimble Access and paste this. So the extension is 001. I'm gonna go back to Trimble Access now. And we're gonna open this up very large and pull this across slightly so we can see this. So there it is, this is the one, right? So remember we're getting this error message before? No, because we have an associated, voila. Oh, I probably should have turned off those um, background lines when we did the export, right? But as you can see, that's the process of how to go ahead and uh, um, extract or export a TFW file from a georeference TIFF that has the georeference information embedded inside of the TIFF file.